Hello friends, it's been a while, but welcome back to This Is The Police 2. I think the last episode was probably a mistake, <laughs> in all honesty. Um, I didn't particularly enjoy recording it, and I think that came across in the recording. So there's a one hour, 20 minute episode. In fact, it's a, it's a two hour episode that I've split into two different episodes. And... Yeah, I've just kind of lost my momentum a little bit on it, but we're going to get back into this. It's December the 1st. Our last episode ended with us being saved from, presumably, death by Liam Henderson, Army Colonel, retired, sex male, age 52. Status at large, suspected multiple crimes, no concrete evidence or testimony. Oh. <laughs> you don't get to read this. Time for hot chocolate. Don't pay any attention to me. I'll evaporate in a second. Who are you? I'm Sean Moreno, secretary and dispatcher, office manager, sometimes even a plumber. I have a very wide range of responsibilities. It's easier to say what I don't do. <laughs> what, and delivering hot chocolate to the offices? Is that one of your duties? <laughs> no, no, well, not usually. But I thought that this morning you might need a big mug of something warm. It's easy to catch cold from lying down in the snow at night. <sighs> and we don't need you catching cold, right? No, oh, that was one cold night. Oh, if you ask me, <laughs> all nights are cold. What are you talking about? Here, hot chocolate with maple syrup, red pepper, and herbs. I should think I can manage to make this drink. Can't survive in sharp wood without it. But I won't give you the exact recipe, don't even ask. I didn't know what kind of cupcakes you like, so I, I brought a few. There's more chocolate in this one, less in this one, and, and, and there's no chocolate at all in this one. But there's there's little nuts, very tasty, but they, they get stuck in your teeth, so be careful. Oh yes, and your revolver. I cleaned it up, shines like new. If you need any bullets for it, Mr. Boyd, just... <laughs> Who are you? Like I said, Mr. Boyd, I have a wide range of responsibilities. I... Secretary, dispatcher, manager, plumber, and Colonel Henderson's bitch? That about right, you fuck? That about it for your responsibilities? Think you can come into my office like that and call me Mr. Boyd, you fucking piece of shit? There aren't any bullets in it, Mr. Boyd. Oh, well, you want to see what I can do to you with a pistol with no ammo, you fuck? I'm a man of many talents, just like you. I have no doubt, Mr. Boyd. Actually, I'm a big fan, a big fan of your talents. You're a legend, Mr. Boyd. I, I look up to you. What are you going on about, you dirtbag? It's what you, what you did in Freeburg. All your the plans, the whole operation. The story about the antique weapons, the Japanese businessman's money, the park construction project. I can't pick a favorite. Well, it's probably that case with the DeVroom painting. Oh, that was top class. You're the only man who's ever turned corruption into art. If someone were making a film about you, Mr. Boyd, I would... Listen to me carefully, secretary, dispatcher, manager, plumber. I don't know what you read here in the newspapers, and I've got no idea what your boss could be dreaming, but you got me wrong, okay? I was a scapegoat. Mm. I once let motherfuckers like you manipulate me, but I learned my lesson. So if you're gonna threaten me, you better just get it over with. No one's threatening you, Mr. Boyd. It's quite the contrary. Now, once you get to know Colonel Henderson better, you'll see you have nothing to fear. Like I said, I appreciate your talents, and Colonel Henderson appreciates them too, believe me. It's a lucky thing you arrived in sharp. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the wind. The key. The key you used to open my office. Leave it and go. 
<laughs> you, you, you do know that I have copies, right? I could make a hundred more. I said leave the key and go. If I see you in my office again, you will drown in a mug of hot chocolate. I promise you that. You have nothing to fear, Mr. Boyd. You're safe here. I don't know what to make of them. Jack just likes carnage, though. Percy, Mr. Nash, I'm back from vacation. I had a good rest, but as soon as I got back, I hit got hit by some bad news. My some scumball desecrated my brother's grave in Freeburg. My parents called in tears. They don't understand who could have done this. After all, Salik was a great guy, a hero cop. He died in the service, saving people. Everyone loved him. I want to go and reassure my folks and sort out the grave. Can you let me go? Fine, but I have a request. If you're going to Freeburg, bring me some fresh newspapers from there. Okay. Yeah, go for it. You you can be helpful. Birch drank too much. Almost want to get rid of him. But the three intelligence, three negotiations, just too much to say no to. Yarbrot, one of our new guys. My boot got a hole in it and the snow is getting in. I'm sure I'm going to come down with something. Can I take the day off to get some new boots? How did it happen? Before work, I always clean the dirt off the soles of my boots. Seems like I've overdone it and wore a hole in the bottom. Oh, cool. <laughs> Mr. Nash, today's a funeral for Art Clumsy. I want to go on in memory of a good cop. Could you let me go for a couple hours? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Today's shift is... A little light on the ground. A little light on the ground. We won't be taking part in any of the investigations. <laughs> we will get people back halfway through, so... Oh yeah, I had, I had actually forgotten that Shini is now our, our rat. We've got illegal business activities and disorderly conduct. Neighbours are complaining about a man who is selling elite alcohol for discounted prices. There's such an elite crowd of drunks standing in line you can get lightheaded just by opening the window. Shiny and Spurlock. Spurlock won't work with women, uh, won't work with men. I actually hate this. I hate this so much. It's not going to be enough if I throw them in. The young woman claims she was given the wrong medicine and is fighting with the pharmacist. Eyewitnesses report she climbed over to the other side of the counter and is rummaging around in boxes looking for the right pills. I've heard you sometimes deal in do goods that you can't, so to speak, sell over the counter. I'll be happy to buy things like that from you and give you access to my own goods. First, I need to know I can trust you. Here's the thing. A couple of weeks ago, a nice batch of cocaine fell into my lap, but I had to hide it for a while. And who comes to him I help? The local grave digger. The old man just buried the goods in one of the fresh graves. The problem is, that same night, the old drunk choked on his own vomit before he could tell me which grave he buried the cocaine in. I'm sure you have a couple of cops who are clever enough to figure it out and dig up the goods. No, I don't. I'm sorry. Clumsy had a modest but worthy ceremony. Good night, sweet prince. This is the illegal business activities. Boxes of bottles with crooked labels are piled behind, beside the suspect's trailer. There's a baseball bat on one of the boxes. A tall man in glasses is carefully counting some money. Next to him, another drunk customer is wobbling about. We'd like to sneak up. It's a bad idea, I won't do it. The lantern will. 
Complete. Snuck up on the criminal and arrest him. See, Yarbrough, it was a good idea. You're just useless. No worries, Jacob. No worries, Aronovich. Thank you for rejoining me. All I wanted was a mild sedative, but I took one pill and it knocked me out, the woman says. Tablets from an open pill bottle have spilled all over the floor of the pharmacy. Lady, the fact is, you're still asleep. I think that's it, you know? No, this is a nightmare. Oh, wow. That didn't go well. The woman screams and runs out of the drugstore straight into the road, gets herself run over by a truck. We got some antibiotics. Prostitution at the old church. A prostitute in outrageous attire has entered the church and is trying to seduce the parishioners. Let's send the guys who've just returned. Oh, crash, crash, crash. Oh, everyone's dead. Sakes, Birch, drinking on the job. Suspicious individual, Zodiac Stadium. Someone saw a man carrying a sniper rifle in the upper stands of the stadium. I jogged to work to take a shortcut through the stadium, but I'm afraid to go in there now. I don't want to be in the crosshairs of some psycho sniper. I saw him climbing up to the top, trying to get a better firing position. That's clearly just a man working on the stadium, right? Girl isn't a prostitute, but the priest's daughter. She just likes to wear short skirts. This is absolutely a false alarm. Let me get away without sending. Yes. Just in case it is a sniper, we'll send the sniper. But I'm pretty sure it's not. In progress. Carjacking. Mr. Roger Linnington's gas station. While his driver was on the toilet, two teenagers jumped into the cab of a refueling garbage truck and drove off. Sure. Yeah, fine. It was expected. Patrol car caught up with the garbage truck. The teenager at the wheels swerving and waving at passers by. Pin the garbage truck to the curb, shoot out the garbage truck's tires, follow the garbage truck until it runs out of gas. Uh, pin to the curb with intelligence. Oh wow. Oh no. Teenagers push the cops back. The heavy garbage truck crushes the patrol car and sends it spinning into a ditch. Cop driving the car is wounded. It's all going horribly wrong today. Birch injured, Aronovich injured. Suspicious individual. Crippled bum with a walking stick who's digging around in the construction debris along the upper bleachers. It had to be a false alarm. Child abuse trailer park. We need to wait for people to come back before we can. That's uh. Oh, it's all going horribly wrong here. Horribly wrong. We just don't have the people. We just don't have the people. Sorry. Mr. Nash, you've probably already heard about my accomplishments in the field of chemistry. Recently I developed a truth serum, which I'm sure will become the standard tool for interrogating suspects. Okay. 
I don't think we have any of the stuff we need for that anyway, so let's just let that one go. The attempted murder was fake. Through the open window, this is a child abuse, through the open window of a dirty little white trailer, a crying child's voice rings out clearly. Dad, don't. Daddy, forgive me. The door to the trailer is locked. Break down the door. Climb through the open window. Knock on the door. Open up. It's the police. It's definitely break down the door. Cop breaks down the door. Trailer is dark and dirty and there's empty bottles scattered everywhere. A thin shaggy man is sitting on the floor beating a little boy with a belt. Stun with a baton. The boy is badly beaten but he'll live. Well, at least we got something, right? Charlie Fletcher, one point in shooting. So that was a pretty horrendous day, all things considered. Nash, well, it was fucked up. We dug up half the cemetery, searched a bunch of dead bodies, and got ourselves covered in corpse rot. We were about to give up. A wandering dog crawled into one of the graves and dug up a bag of drugs. We can't come back to the station today. We've got to go home and wash this stink off. Well, it was 1am anyway, so you should probably just leave it. Okay. Can sell some decent stuff. Some smokes, some jewelry, some weed, some heroin, some whiskey. Sure. That almost gives us enough money. But does it give us enough money? Possibly. Thank you. Yeah, we didn't do well, I know. Oh, it was a tactics mission. Oh. Did not know that. We have a perfect cop available with a drinking problem. <laughs> Certainly not buying anything. We don't have any tabs. So next shift, flower pots. I mean, no, let's say Shinny probably won't go anyway. Rosencrantz, drinking problem. Kimmel. Kurosawa. Jacob and Belmont. Williams. Guildenstern. Penkin says no. And Percy. Percy the third. Let's go. We've got nothing. <laughs> We've got absolutely nothing for the next day, but sure. Percy's back from Freeburg. Parents were glad about my visit. We even went together to my brother's grave and cleaned everything up. Thanks for letting me go. Family always comes first, you know. I almost forgot. The fresh p newspapers from Freeburg are already on your desk. Why do you need them? There's nothing to read in there. It's all just junk. Ah. Uh, oh, it's nice. Oh, it's so nice. It's, <laughs> it's such a throwback. Under the hypnosis, director of the port warehouse remembered who extorted two million bribe. Jack Boyd. Physiognomy. Phy Physiognomy? Physiognomy specialist. Jack Boyd has f face of typical criminal. Clay cup of Tisala lost after fire in museum, stolen by Jack Boyd. Well, we're still number one comment in Freeburg. Jacob didn't come into work today. Rosencrantz drank too much. Kurosawa. Mr. Nash, my power was cut off. It's freezing cold in the house. My mother is sneezing already. I'm really worried. I need to fix this quick. Quick. Can I have the day off to take care of this? Why was it cut off? Haven't paid the bill in three months. Didn't feel like standing in line at the bank, so eventually they cut it off. 
No. No, you 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 deal with your own problems in your own time. Ah, we have three more tasers than we do taser cartridges. Okay. It's a big no for me on the <laughs> investigations. <laughs> Oh, he's still going. Okay. Code I. Oh. Oh, it's a uh... elderly patient Michael Sandman was smothered to death by a pillow in a hospital bed. Woolbag, Mr. Nash, it's great to meet you. Actually, I still had this week off, but when I find when I heard we finally had a real man at the department. I decided to return to work as soon as possible. You'll be amazed at my abilities. I can smell a criminal from a mile away. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Place your bets. Roll up, roll up. How many points of professionalism is Woolbag going to have? My guess is... 10. 330. With three shooting and two intelligence. Gail and Woolbag, welcome! Welcome to the team! Woodworking factory, a drunken worker at the front gate is fighting with a guard because he's been kicked off the job site. Woolbag, let's see what you can do. Send you with Kurosawa and Gildenstern. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Good lord, Gail and Woolbag always smells like shit, but today it's just too fucking much. Nash, you can do whatever you want. I'm not going anywhere in a car with him. <laughs> oh, flower pots. You're professional enough to handle it, right? <laughs> From Howard Kim. Mr. Nash, you're new in town. I don't know if you can be trusted, but I'd be fucked if I, want, if I went to that woman who's wearing the sheriff's badge. After all, we know how she got it, right? Anyway, listen. In the rec centre, where I work as a bathhouse attendant, some fugitives from prison have taken up residence. They passed themselves off as construction investors, but last night I accidentally overheard them talking about how they broke, di broke out of Ripton Prison, robbed a second-hand store, and are now waiting for their homies to help them cross the border. Everything would be fine, but one of them noticed me, and long story short, they jumped out and messed me up so bad I haven't even stopped bleeding yet. When they left, they told me they'd beat the fuck out of me if I told anyone anything. I also heard they're going to be staying low for five days while news of their escape quiets down. Listen, I can't go back to work. In this condition, no way. Plus, I'm worried they won't keep their word and kill me right in my bathhouse. Okay. Normally I have a few days to prepare for an assault. Carefully plan the operation. You'll need to collect all the information you can get and pick the right job for each of your cops. Things to do. Get the key for the back entrance. Warn the manager. Get all information available. Outfit and assign your strike team. Oh god. We need to get the key for the back entrance and call off the security guard who stands guard near the door and any other personnel. The manager has the keys. They need to be collected from him at home in the evening and not at work, so the criminals don't notice the cops. The manager will provide us the key and tell the employees of the complex to go home early on the night of the assault. Kurosawa, you can get the key. Since you're absolutely useless. In progress. Domestic disturbance. Some neighbours are concerned about the screams they keep hearing from the house across the street. 995. Send everyone. Two people are drunk. Let's, let's let them have a party. The drunken worker takes a boxing stance, menacing the guard and yelling, Come on, son, I will sting you like a bee. Take a left-handed boxing stance, take a right-handed boxing stance. Flower pots. South Paul. Okay. Um, must be left hand forward then. Classic, a right hander. And I'm a southpaw, your worst nightmare. The worker tilts his head down slightly and runs straight forward. Swing a right hook. 
complete. Square in the jaw. Knocks him cold. Flower pots, you're a hero. Woodchuck beer. It seems only fair that she gets a point in strength for that. Destruction of property. Pierce Co Rosencrantz was killed in a car accident! Got to the address, banged on the door for 10 minutes, nobody answered. Well, that's harsh. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Domestic disturbance. A man in a dirty robe is drumming at the door of the house. There's a cellophane bag in his hand. It looks like an amputated man's leg is sticking out of the bag. Amputated man's leg. Not amputated man's leg. Order the man to drop the bag and surrender. What store you by that? The man obeyed the cops, surrendered, and explained the situation. I've always been jealous of my wife and the local slaughterer. They were lovers before we got married. Today we fought about it again and she cried out that she felt in her heart it would be better if the slaughterer disappeared forever. You could only make soup from what's left of him. Civilians unharmed, you say? Diapers, hmm. Belmont gets a point in intelligence and we wait. For people to return for destruction of property. A woman in a fur scarf threw a brick through the shop window. She claims yesterday they sold her a poisoned pie. Will these guys get back in time? Yes. A passerby reports that a photographer is fighting with a local doctor. Send a lot of people to this one. Kurosawa was tired as a dog, needs some rest. So, animal abuse at the Oven Loving Bakery will probably go unanswered. Destruction of property. Ate a tiny bit of that pie and almost died. The woman in the first, first scarf screams, then picks up another brick and grows, goes inside. Soon after, other customers dissatisfied with the quality of local pies line up. It seems like they all have something to say to the baker. Go inside, try pie, shoot into the air, turn on the siren. Sound of the siren scared everyone off, except for the woman in the first scarf. She's still inside the bakery, and is now threatening the baker with a brick. Sneak up behind the woman. Oh wow. Cop woman, the cop noticed, the woman noticed the cop sneaking up through a brick at him. Her. Brick smashed the cock's head. He briefly lost consciousness. It was just time enough for the criminal to escape. God damn. God damn. <laughs> it's all going wrong. Uh, yeah, organize the ceremony for Rosencrantz. Yeah, Flower Pots is injured. Yeah, we know. Animal abuse. We will have almost no one available. 490. Not enough. Drunk man bought in his dash and, and demands it be killed and cooked in a pie. Animal is whining and pulling at the leash and the man responds by kicking it. That's going to be a dead dash hunt. The doctor has detained a photographer at the clinic gates. The photographer is whining. It's a street picture for a Freeburg art project, you now reminded asshole. Get off me, I document human suffering. Freeburg sucks. Turn on the siren, watch what happens. Doctor gives the photographer a swift punch in the nose and a trickle of blood splashes down on the icy asphalt. Ask the photographer to apologise, use pepper spray, restrain the suspect. Apologise, damn it. Complete. Photographer obeys the cop and apologises. The raging doctor calmed down somewhat and surrendered to the police. Galen Wilbag. We don't have enough for the animal abuse, I'm sorry. We just don't. No one came to the call, suspect escaped. I don't have enough to do anything, actually. <laughs> like. Jameson Hill is a former major retired with full honours. When the military base in Sharpwood closed, I managed to take a box of all sorts of test samples of military gadgets. There are some listening devices among them, which I'm sure will be useful in your work. I'll give you a wire too, but first you have to help me. 
Here's the situation, my wife kicked me out of the house because supposedly I drink too much. But what else am I supposed to do in retirement? So she kicked me out. She started bringing younger men around. I even found out about an insurance agent, Mike Sh Schlipsley. Schlipsy. The kid's in his 30s. So here's what I want. Send a younger cop to my wife. Younger cop. I don't, I don't have one. I just don't have one. We'll give him a wire to take along. Since it turns out she's such a whore, your man should easily be able to seduce her. And I'll record everything. I'll present his evidence in court and get a divorce from the slut. She won't be seeing a cent of my military pension. <laughs> We're sending an old man. <laughs> Gildenstern. <laughs> Let's see how well that goes! Something suspicious. There are rumours in the city of three strange men who were recently seen in the pub. They obviously weren't from around here. They were armed and dressed like special agents or spies. They quietly looked around, made some notes in their notebooks and walked up to the bar. Obviously not for a drink. I wonder what brought them to Sharpwood. Avanez Kanayan, who was in the medical centre. Mr Nash, I need your help. I don't know who to turn to. My wife has cancer, and the usual treatments won't help. I read in a medical journal about a new experimental treatment where gold dust is used. I have all the necessary equipment for the procedures, only the material itself is missing. If you could get at least one gold bar for me, it could save my wife's life. I will never forget it. And for as long as you serve in the police, I can take care of any of your wounded cops in every sense of the phrase. I know that sometimes you might rather someone doesn't recover. don't have gold. We'll try and send her without. We'll see what happens. Keith Collins, dead house. Again, we don't have the loot for this, but if we send Woolbag, we'll see what happens. I've <laughs> probably just killed two cops. <laughs> I said all the right things, the lady didn't want to play ball. That was a drag, of course. She's got to be twice as old as me. I wouldn't have thought she'd turn her nose up at a young and handsome guy like me. Hmm. Well, her husband wasn't happy either. Said he won't be sharing his equipment with us until we have ironclad evidence. So we can do it again and send someone better. Bo Kimmel interrogated some of the witnesses and prepared a preliminary report for night terrors on the ward. Okay, we don't have very much, but... I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> Minnie, I tried to slash at me with his little scalpel. I gave him a good look at my knife and he started yelling something about the recipe. It turns out I didn't have all of his chemical ingredients. Nash, you just can't make some normal friends, can you? Nash, don't fuck with me like this again. Going to Kanai and empty handed is like passing a death sentence. He'll never speak to me again. When he found out I hadn't brought anything for him, for some reason he burst into tears like a child. Yeah, I, I knew that wasn't a good idea, to be honest. <laughs> End the day. We have nothing done on winter nights. We had a. It was a poor day, but it wasn't the worst we've ever had. Can't buy any cops. Can't buy a taser cartridge. Shinny's probably useless to us. We need Williams. So we're picking 11 cops for the next day, and that is going to do it for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Potentially. I'm thinking about ending this series, in all honesty, because the game is... It's fine. But I can see why it got terrible reviews. <laughs> there are a lot of annoyances about this game that are really starting to get to me. And I don't want the quality of the series to drop off 
from, I mean, it's not exactly at lofty heights as it is. So I'll put this episode out. I'll see the kind of response it gets. And if it doesn't do well, I might just call it the last one. But don't worry, we'll, we'll bring something else in its place. I've got a few games lined up that I think could be very good for the channel. So Either way, until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.